At any one time, there are about a thousand young men training at MLB camps about an hour outside the Dominican Republic's capital. Just 5% will ever make it to the major leagues. 20-year-old shortstop Hansel Moreno hopes to make the cut, which means working from sunrise to sunset at the Mets Academy. So on a typical day, we get up early and head down to the gym. Then we go have breakfast and stretch out. Next, we start practicing fundamentals and go through a batting routine. And after finishing, we go up to the academy. It's the same thing day after day. The players also spend about 12 mandatory hours a week in the classroom. It's a change the Mets made back in 2006. Academy head Juan Henderson says it was difficult to explain to the baseball-obsessed young men. You have to continue school here. What? But I quit school to play baseball and then I have to go back to school. And then we explain it, hey, we explain what we do here and then the family like it. The academy has a handful of classrooms and a computer lab where players learn math, writing, science, and English. We really believe that a better educated player has better chances to succeed. The idea is spreading. Now almost half of major league teams offer players the chance to work toward their high school diploma. Rafael Perez, a former pro who heads the major league operations in the DR, says a few years ago, only six teams offered the path to a diploma. We realize there is a connection. Reading and writing take you to learn math. Math help you with critical thinking. And critical thinking is the essence to any athlete. You have to have the ability to make decisions in a split of a second. And the chances are many Dominican players are lacking those basic skills. UNICEF estimates only 57% of young men there ever enroll in high school. Some players don't even have a sixth grade education. The country as a whole has a big issue with education. I mean, and, and players are just part of the population. It's not like they're worse or better. They're just part of it. Perez says the MLB won't mandate that the teams educate players, but he predicts more will start programs. We're not in the business of education, but education makes sense for our business. Martin Valerio of the Seattle Mariners says his team and a few others allow players to continue taking classes even if they're cut. They have with us the chance to still doing like high school program of that, but they don't come back. That's, you know, that's weird. It's rare because released players can't live at the academy while they continue their classes, they're not making any money from the team, and home is likely far away. The reality is that most players leave the academies without a job and little idea of what to do next. Those who do manage to scrape together enough classes for a diploma are treated to the pomp and circumstance of graduation. Six Arizona Diamondbacks ballplayers donned black motorboards and gowns in the humid tropical heat to receive their diplomas this year. Merquis Montero is the second person in his family after his brother to graduate. He says he feels good. Thank God. For the graduation at the Arizona Diamondbacks, they've put a lot into education. It's gone well for us here. Montero's career with the D-backs started in 2013, and the next year the pitcher was an all-star in the Dominican Summer League. I played with Arizona, traveled to the United States, and they told me I was released. A release is the end of an American baseball career. Montero says he's not entirely sure what he'll do next. He wants to continue his studies, maybe become a doctor or a lawyer. He says he played because he loved the game, but also because... It's a way to help your family quickly with good money. Montero will now have to transform the diploma in his hands into a career off the field. For the Transborder Unit, Mariana Dale, KJZZ News, Santo Domingo.